it's Thursday and this is Lisa. This is Lisa's painting parties and I'm glad that you're here with me tonight. Uh, we're going to be painting from a photo this week. Um, our photo is from Michael Lyons Photography so thank you to Michael for allowing us to use your photograph for our session for tonight. Um, this one is um, an interesting one, a little bit different than what I tend to choose. Although I have been picking a lot of different variety ones from <laughs> our photo library. Um, but this one is an up close. Um, let me show you that for a moment. So this one is what we're going to be painting today. So this is a photo. Um, it has like a really interesting kind of blurry purple bluish background. And then we have a close up of like a heart shaped leaf um, and there's a few leaves going on. So it's going to be interesting to play with kind of a blurriness and then have a, like a hyper focus um, on the leaf in it. And again, I encourage you, um, if you are painting along with me, um, to change this up however you so desire. So if this image isn't speaking to you, but you still want to paint and be creative, you can do your total own image. It's totally fine. If you want to paint along and play with this kind of style, feel free to do so. I'll be using acrylic and I'll be going through um, the supplies that I'm going to be using tonight. But again, just because I'm using these particular supplies, it doesn't mean you have to. You can do whatever you so desire. Um, for anyone who hasn't joined me before, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. And for anyone who's uh, joined before, um, I'm glad you're back. Um, basically, the way I uh, host these paint parties is I will um, we have our inspiration image and I will talk you through how I'm going to go about recreating this particular image. But I do encourage you as if we were like in a book club where we have our one resource. This is like our book resource um, and you can interpret it and do with it as you wish. So you can, however speaks to you, feel free to do so. Um, if you want to use a totally different medium, you want to use pencil, you want to use clay, I don't know, whatever you want to do, go nuts. Um, but like I said, I'll come from the place of just speaking of how to recreate this in my own style um, and get the vibe of this photo in an acrylic painting form. So that's how I'll do it. Um, also, um, I don't try to be super um, realistic. Although some of the images do come out nice and a little realistic, but that's not really my intention. So my intention is to capture the like vibe and the feel of it. Um, and so that's what I'm going to be doing with this one as well. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for someone to walk you through to get a very realistic, step-by-step, um, -step, very like, you know, that kind of photographic, you know, specificness, that's not what I'm going to be doing. So you need to find someone else for that. <laughs> so just want to make sure that's clear so your expectations are set accordingly, all right? Um, if you're watching and you're not able to paint along, that's totally fine. You can um, watch this video um, on my Facebook page under the videos tab, and also I'll be cross-posting it to my YouTube channel as well. So you'll be able to watch it whenever you so desire, and I don't take the videos down. On that note, there are uh, videos from all of my previous live parties. Uh, we are over 100 at this point, so if you like this style and you're digging it, please go check it out, follow and like the page, um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can like see everything that's there. Um, also, if you are, in, are into my vibe and you want to do your own party, you can check out my website, it's lisaspaintingparties.com, and I offer virtual ones for you and your friends or at work. Um, or if you're in the greater Toronto era, you can message me and then we can always do like our own in-person party as well. Um, and if you'd like to leave me a tip, there's a link there as well. If you want to, you do not have to. These are all free. Um, of course, it's appreciated, um, but it's not necessary at all. Um, I think that is my spiel with all of the lovely stuff. So if you're tuning in, feel free to let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, if you've painted along with me before, um, if this is your first time, let me know. That'd be great. I'll keep an eye on the comments as we go. However, as we, uh, as I get into it, if I miss it, I'm not ignoring you. Sometimes I get into the painting as well. So I'll, I'll keep an eye and I'll respond as soon as I, I can. Okay. Perfect. -o. And I am in, um, Ajax, Ontario. So just, um, outside of Toronto. Um, and it is a really nice day. The, I'm getting some weird, like, sunlight that's filtering between like the tree branches so I have like interesting shadows happening <laughs> so I apologize for that but from what I can tell when we start getting into the painting um there isn't that issue happening on my canvas so we'll be okay <laughs> in a moment or two all right 
So um, let's go through our painting supplies. We're actually going to get started painting in about four or five minutes. Just want to make sure anyone who wants to paint along with me live has the opportunity to do so. Um, and let's just go through yeah, our painting supplies. So for this particular one, I'm using a canvas board. Our right, canvas board is um, 11 by 14 is the size of it. Um, and as all with all my supplies, the things that I'm using are the ones that I have available to me. I haven't specifically chosen them for any reason. It's not because they're like the best or anything. That's not what I've done. It's literally um, the ones that I have available and that's what I'm using today. So yeah. Um, in terms of my paint, I use acrylic paint. I use two different kinds of paint. Where are my regular colors? And I recommend if you have your basic colors, your red, blue, and yellow, and white, and black, you can make any painting that you I do on painting parties, and I'll talk you through that. Of course, with an image like this, there's a lot of purple, there's green in it. So like if you have some pre-mixed colors, it might make your life a little bit easier. So I'll still talk through about mixing, but again, if you have those already ready to go, that's fine. I use um, Crafters Acrylic by Deco Art, and these are available at the Dollarama. They're, so they're very, very, very inexpensive, um, and they dry with like a matte finish. Um, and then I also use these ones from Artist Sloth called Flow Acrylic, and these ones um, like finish with a bit of shine, so I kind of like that uh, quite a bit on the painting. So I use these a bit more, and they actually go a bit of a longer way. So when I use this, I don't need as much paint to get most more coverage, so I do like these ones. And they're also not very expensive. I think for the whole bottle, it was under $10 Canadian, so very reasonable. Um, I also have a whole stack of paper towels ready to go. I tend to use that um, more often than fully washing my brushes as I'm painting. I only keep my brush in water or really rinse it out when I'm kind of done with using it for that particular purpose. And again, I'll, I'll talk through that if that doesn't really make sense. I have my brushes. I recommend having a variety of sizes um, and I suggest having at least three. One, that's going to give you a lot of coverage so we can get a lot of background done, a lot of quick paint application on the canvas. So a big size brush. And I say that because it depends on what kind of canvas size you're using. Since I'm using this one, which is 11 by 14, this is a size 10. This one is a size two, which is like my medium brush. And then this one is technically a size four, but it is like when it, it gets to a nice fine point and a rounded tip. So um, it actually is quite good. And I like the size four for this one because it holds a lot more um, paint in it, but it actually still is quite detailed. So I, I like those. And it actually has like a nice, like kind of like a grip, like it's like a triangle. I don't know if you can tell by it, but I like it a lot. So it gives me more control, which is nice. So those are the ones I use primarily. I do have some other ones. Like I have like a size four I sometimes use and another fine point one. Um, but that's, if you have at least three sizes, to give you some flexibility, fantastic. And you wanna have water as well. I usually have two containers ready to go, especially when we're dealing with darker colors, your water can get dirty really fast and I don't like to get up in the middle of my sessions. <laughs> so I like to have like backup containers on the go. And then I have my paint palette where I will be popping my paint on. I do a lot of my mixing directly on the canvas. And again, I'll talk through as I go and you can take and leave whatever works for you. Whatever works is all good with me. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to put my light back on just so that um, thing will be a little better once we get into it. Awesome. Oh, amazing. Sorry. Okay. Facebook's been making some lovely updates and um, the comments seemed not to be on and now they are there. Okay, fantastic. Hi, Lynn. Oh, thanks, Heather. Thanks for the stars, Heather. I appreciate it. No, I haven't started. I started, I come on a little bit earlier. So normally, so our sessions, I have them set for six o'clock, but I usually come on five to 10 minutes prior just to make sure that I can do a rundown and that anyone who's joining will be able to jump on and give some time to that. But I usually don't start until a little bit after six anyways, just to make sure everyone's good to go. Um, so Charlene's saying there's a bad connection. I'm sorry, Charlene. On my end, it's showing all blue, which means good. But um, I never trust technology fully. So I am sorry if you're having um, streaming problems. Um, what does tend to happen is that it is recording on my side of it. Um, so if it is being weird, I don't know if you can rewind back and see, maybe that could help the issue. Um, 
hopefully it will get a little better. I know there's like some like wind weather that's happening in certain parts of the states and I know that's been affecting some stuff, but I don't know if um, that's on you or me. Um, hi, Cindy. Oh, see, so just, oh, what is going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it like that. Oh, Facebook. I love and I loathe you at the same time. Okay, so it's 6 over 2. We're going to give it a little bit more time before we start, just in case. The next thing what I'll do is I will also have something to drink, so have some water or coffee or drinks or whatever you need just so you're hydrated as we do this. This, um, usually my paint parties take about two hours. Um, sometimes it's a little faster, sometimes it's a little bit longer. I'm anticipating this will probably be around like the one and a half, two hour mark, depending on how um, details we want to get with the leaf. Um, the background, I don't think will take too long, I say, um, but we'll see. Sometimes things that I don't expect to take a while end up being a lot more um, challenging <laughs> than I thought. So let's not, let's not uh, knock on wood to make sure everything goes smooth. Um, and so um, what we'll do is, um, it's still annoying because you can't really see that. If anyone jumps on, they're not going to be able to see the image very well. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is when we start doing this, um, recreating this photo, we're going to start first with whatever is furthest in the back. So we're going to start with this blurry purple background. Um, however, what I am going to do, which I don't often do, is I'm going to actually start off by grabbing a pencil and kind of lightly sketching in where I want my leaves to live. And the reason for this is because it will be easier when we're doing the paint, the green paint, if we don't have like a dark purple background on it. So we're going to do that first this time. And often I don't do that. Often I paint the full background and then we just like layer things on. But in this case, I think I do want to um, just lightly sketch in and then try to avoid those areas. When I say avoid, I'm not going to stress too much if it gets in there, but it'll just make it a little bit easier in that way. So that's how we're going to start doing. So if you want to start with that process, you can feel free to start with that. Um, I'm going to get started in maybe another two minutes or so. Um, and so that's what we're going to do first. So I'm going to lightly kind of sketch. And I really like this because it's, it is just like a beautiful, like heart shape. And with that, like, I know we have like another leaf kind of coming in here. That's kind of impeding on it. I might not keep that. I might edit that part out, um, of my design when I'm doing it. Cause I think I do want to emphasize on this like heart shaped leaf. And then I, I'm going to put the other ones in. Um, and then there's like some, it looks like some berries and stuff, but that's not so much of an issue. We just want to kind of have where we want our green to live. Okay. So let's see, everyone good. Awesome. I'm looking at my, how is the stream coming along? It's still looking blue. So I think, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Sorry. I have all the paints beside my leg. I sit on the floor when I do these. So it ends up being a little bit interesting. All right. So let's move this over let's move it down so we still have that and then i'm going to put this guy over here all right so you can see that a little better and then i think if i put this up here we're going to get it a little bit but then the canvas will be a little bit lighter which is good no that makes it worse let's bring it up a little bit like that okay better Okay, perfect. So like I said, I want to put in this kind of heart shape. So when I look at this, I want to see more or less where I want it. And again, this is an interpretation. You can always change up the placement. If you want, you can change it up, make it like a portrait, whatever you want is completely and totally fine. So for this one, I think I do want it to be pretty central, although it is slightly on a bit of a, it's not like perfectly center, right? So I'm going to kind of just kind of sketch in oh yeah try to sketch in holy okay there you go and it kind of has like a 
that kind of end. It's not like a full end like that. So that's going to be my heart leaf in the middle there. Okay, and we're going to have another one kind of poking around this way. So I'm just going to put like a, a certain, like a curved line. And again, this is still kind of like a heart shape as well. Um, but it looks a little bit funkier. And it does hang a little bit lower than the other ones. So I'm just going to... And then I'm going to go like... Yeah. And then we have another kind of stem coming out, like upwards. And then we're going to do that leaf, which is kind of like... From what I can tell, it kind of comes down. Makes it tip. This one almost looks like a diamond-ish, so... Uh, think of it that way. Remember, don't think of it so much as I need to look like a leaf. Think of it as you're copying the lines and the shapes of things. I know for me that helps because when I look at this, I don't look at this and think that they're leaves. I'm like, what did I just redraw on my canvas? So that helps me just separate it and be like, no, I'm just copying the lines and the shapes. I'm not making leaves. I'm just making lines and shapes. And that makes my brain a little bit happier. <laughs> it's like a little brain trick. So there's the other one here. And maybe you don't need that for you yourself. But for me, I need it. This one kind of comes down. It kind of comes down like that. Okay. I don't know if we want to bother with the one in the back. Maybe we do. This is kind of the shape in the back. It's going to stay green. And then there's the red that lives kind of in this area. Cool. All right. And I think I will put a leaf, but I don't want it to interfere with mine here so I'm just going to add it like here and almost like another one behind it too kind of like that okay this is my very professional looking sketch that I've done obviously <laughs> all right okay so now that I so I just basically don't really want to get a lot of that dark color in those spots but I still want to be able to feel comfortable and free-flowing to do the rest of it now if you end up just being like oh my gosh this is really too difficult and I, I just need to paint everything go ahead and do that don't feel weird about it now in this process it's going to be interesting we're going to do a little bit of layering with it to play with uh, some of these colors so if you have um, a pre-mixed purple, feel free to use that. Otherwise, you want to get your blue and your red and you want to mix them together. I would suggest if you're mixing your own colors to mix equal parts of the colors first and then depending on the shade that comes out, add a little bit more red to it and see if you like it or add a little more blue and see if you like it and kind of go from there until you find um, a shade or a mix that you're digging. I do have a pre-mixed purple that I am going to put some of that on my palette, but I am going to mix my own as well. So I'm going to use this Flow Acrylic, and this is just called Blue. They keep it simple. And this one is just called Red. No fancy names here. And then guess what black's called? Black. Just plain old black okay I'm gonna put a little bit of black on there I think that might be actually be okay black is like super powerful so just to get an idea of like how much of each thing I'm putting on I'll just show you it's kind of like how much of each a little tricky I guess because it's hard to know I guess how much when you see it but that's okay all right so I'm just gonna start to get some paint on the canvas to get the flow going so this purple I do want it to I think I'm going to start with the premix and then we'll, we're going to vary it up from there. So I'm just going to start to get some purple on here. And I'm not going to worry too much about how it looks at the moment. 
already know that I don't really like the pre this premix purple that much. The color of it's kind of not really the color I want. I just, I just put some red in here too. I just want to get like a, a background happening and then we can start to play with some of the circular patterns on there. Just want to get everything covered first. This is just me mixing my blue and my red together too. So Now when you're doing this, make sure you get the sides of your canvas as you go on. Like I said, see I'm not really caring if I end up going into my shapes, that's totally fine. I'm just going to try to stay out of it overall, if possible. Let me add a little bit of black. Black, like I said, I just had a drop and all of a sudden it's like takes over the entire, entire thing. It is a little bit darker on this side here. And I can start putting in a little bit of the darker values in. And I'm just kind of going back and forth. Like I don't want it to be, I don't want my strokes to be very um, uniform. So I'm kind of going like back and forth like an X to get things going but again this is more just to get good coverage on the canvas it's not really um, well that's too much it's not really about the final product at the moment right so that is way too blue Let's pop more red on top of that there's something more black happening down here this all over. This is a bit more black here too, so let's get it a little darker. <clears throat> Sorry, there's like a big clump of paint, dry paint that landed there so I just want to get rid of that before I forget about it and then it dries <laughs> the big chunkiness on my canvas okay I want it more purple in this area So we have the canvas covered in a purple variety of 
is working nicely. Purpley black kind of vibe happening. Nice. Just going over some parts just to get it. Because I really just like when it's um not opaque. I like it to <clears throat> really cover the canvas. There we go. All right. So now what I want to do is I think I'm going to use a different brush now. So I'm going to retire that large brush. And ooh, I just noticed I've got some red paint on some of my brushes that I was not using. Just going to clean that for a moment. All right, so I think I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna use my medium brush. And I wanna start getting some different values happening here. So there is a lot of darkness. So I'm gonna get the black and I wanna put in more black in here. Black this way. Okay, and then we're going to this way here. So I just want to put in some of these some of the darker values to get everything to pop more. And then there's more along here. I'm just looking at our inspiration image and I'm just getting some black in the areas that are darker and it's very like like hodgepodge like I'm not worrying so much about how it looks or exactly where things are I just want to get the, the color to feel right in the right areas so I want to get it a little darker in these areas black area is pretty solid. And then I like another one here. Okay. Um, okay. Oof. We need to get rid of some of our black. Okay, so now let's play with the purple. Now, um, hmm. I think I'm going to just mix some of my blue and my red together. Because like I said, I'm not a super fan of the pre-mixed purple that I have. So I'm just going to, I'm just doing that right now. Sorry, I don't have a camera specifically on that. Okay. Um, okay, so let's start by getting 
some purple on here. And then I want it to be a bit lighter. I'm just going to get a little more blue on here. I want to get this kind of like circular kind of shape happening. It's very like, it looks like there's almost like berries or something going on. I'm not even sure what on some of them. So as I'm doing this, it is blending into the black background that I have. I am just putting blue and I'm just getting some red. Just getting kind of the circular vibe happening. I'm going to leave it until it dries a bit more and then we're going to go on top and we're going to do some layering to it to make it continue to come out. So let's do move up here. Some dark areas in here. purple on this side. I guess want to get the background more opaque. I'm getting in the areas I didn't blend before. So now, okay, so we have, I don't know if you can see it too well because it's a bit of a glare happening on it. It's quite, it's quite wet right now. It's very, very dark. <coughs> Once it dries, we'll get some more and I'll make it brighter. I definitely need to get, I think I'm going to put a little bit of white just to brighten it up a little bit. it there. Okay, so I'm going to wait a little bit until it dries before I put some more colors because right now it's it's all very, very dark. But until we wait for that, I think we can start filling in some of the green and start getting some of that happening. So again, if you have a pre-mixed green, you can go ahead and do that or you can mix blue and yellow together and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using my Crafters Acrylic and the flow acrylic 
to get a bit of a green happening. Start with like this base of the green and then I might change it up a bit too. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I like this green that much. We'll start with this and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's just get some, let's get this guy. If the paint is very wet along the side, I would not suggest you start doing that. Do one of the leaves that do not have any wet, dark paint that's going to affect it. colors and shades and everything else after I just want to I like getting just a base of color on and then I'll play from there so I'm just kind of going around the lines that I initially created and just like cleaning them up a bit to really emphasize these leaves the way I want them to be. Just trying to get the right shape going. And because it's <clears throat> we kept the background light, it's coming across a lot easier. The colors popping a lot easier as well. Last one. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in those shapes with a green of some sort. So now we have paint all over the canvas. And I like this point because it always is nice when everything is good to go. Oops, what's going on here? Hey, Heather. Yeah, so basically... It's very dark right now. I'm just trying to get all the back in there. Um, and then we'll pop and make it brighter. I just want to make sure that the whole canvas is like fully covered. <clears throat> I did, I went, a to be honest, I went a little darker than I wanted to in the back. I think the black kind of took over a bit more. But there is color variations that I can see. And then once we start going in, 
<coughs> or make it lighter um, once it dries a little bit more. I think we'll just play a little bit with the leaves right now. At least that's what I'm going to do until this part dries and then we'll go back in and then add and make it brighter and get some of the more blurriness happening. Okay, I wasn't sure about this green color, but I actually quite like that shade. I think it's really pretty. So that's really nice. Okay, so for the leaves, um, what I want to do is I want to get the different highlights and shadows on the leaves first before we get all of the... Um, I don't know what that what it's called exactly. I was gonna say boning, but that's not it. But all of the detail in terms of all of these like little like lines and tributaries that are happening. Um, so I want to get that first, and then we'll go from there. So I see that it's like on the side here. There is a bit of a. It almost goes into like a yellow. So I'm gonna put some yellow on my brush, and I'm just going to just sweep it down the side. And I'm just going to go over it again because my brush is, or it's still wet, and so it is blending with the paint a little bit. It's like slightly wet, it's not that wet. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. And right now my brush is feeling pretty dry, but it is just moving the paint around a little bit, which is what I want. A little bit too yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna put that. Maybe I wanted a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. And then on this one too, it's light kind of down the middle and it's a little bit lighter on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to bring my brush with a bit of yellow on here down the middle. And then I'm going to just kind of dab some yellow this way. Everything's pretty dry, so it's not blending easily. That's okay, I just wanted to put the yellow on. And then now I'm going to just get a bit of the green that I had before. I'm just going to sorry, go back in. Sorry, it's a little bit too blue for my liking. There we go. Okay to blend it a bit that way because I do want it to have a little bit more yellow that a little bit like that okay or else do we want to go with this yellow well we want there is on this leaf here it's a bit of a highlight on this side and then it also I would say kind of is like that on that side like it kind of is just that crescent there and then it also has a nice line down the middle. And this side's definitely lighter. I'm just going to put some lighter in here. Okay, I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to just a little touch and this guy 
in the side. And then we'll send it a little bit down the middle. My brush is a little fat for this one, but that's okay. And this also has a bit of a kind of kissing here. Just like a nice swoop. And this one as well, it kind of comes down and then a little bit in here. And then on this one, this one is kind of weird. <laughs> it looks like there's like a little bit here on that cor curve. It looks like I see a little bit there. But besides that, I don't see as much. So I mean, I'm going to put a little bit down here. Just, and I'm going to put a little bit just here. Yeah, because it's almost like white there. It's not even like yellow. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the highlight portions at the moment. Mm, I lied, actually. I am going to just go and put a little bit more just here now that I see it. And I do want it to be a little bit more like that. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, cool. So I've got some yellow highlights happening. It keeps The comments don't show up properly for me here. Very frustrating. Hi, Janice. Hi, Mary. I'm happy that you're here. That's awesome. Okay, so now I want to put some shadows. So this is almost black. I don't know if I want to go that crazy. I am going to go a little crazy. I am going to go very dark. I think I'm just going to add black to my green. And it's still going to be quite dark, but... I might have like a tinge of green in it, which is what I kind of would prefer. Okay, well, I see my brush is very, very wet, and I don't know if I like that. Okay, okay, so I'm going to go here first. We're going to put some like, shadow, so there's this here, and then it kind of comes out like a suit. This whole section here is quite dark. Yes, I think that looks good. All right, and then in here, it comes down the middle. And it's a little bit like that. And then we have, it looks like it's a shadow from the other one. So I don't know if I'm gonna put that in fully, but I think I'm just gonna put a little bit like that and I'm going to put a little up here and there's a little bit down here okay and then in here okay I'm just going to do that and then that one doesn't look like there's really anything dark happening, so we're not going to touch that. In here, this one looks quite dark, actually. I'm just going to add a little bit on this side, on this curve, to kind of get this part here. And then I think... I'm going to put a little bit down here. And then I have to start using my more fine brush in a moment because it's it's not detailed enough for that. So let's move to the fine brush to get some more details happening as we continue putting in the different color variations happening here. I think I'm going to get some of my pre-mixed green just to see if I like that color. I don't know if I want to use that one. It's very like, that green is actually called emerald green. 
the one from that pack that I have. So it's a little intense, I find. I'm just going to mix it with my yellow just to tone it down a smidge. Okay. And then I think I'm going to start with this one. And I just want to put in a little bit more green back in. I'm going to do the same thing in this one. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the green. And here, just put it around. I'm just getting the green and I'm getting some of the yellow and I'm just filling in some of these spots just to, I don't know, it's not really blending because it's, it's already dry, it's just to try to make everything kind of be a little bit more cohesive, I guess. But at the same time, I still want it to look painterly and I want there to be streaks happening. I don't want it to feel almost like impression, like impressionistic, so just like different color. Bits as we do this. very very much color okay mm -hmm. Mm And then I know we have, it's very light down here, so I'm going to get some white and green, get a very light coming down here. And I want to get some green back in here. Putting some more white and green, so a very light green here, or a lighter green here.
Okay, so it's kind of like a black and green. Just kind of playing a little bit with those just to blend that a little bit. Okay, and then the one in the background. Okay, I think I'm going to just touch this up a little bit more. Okay. All right, so now I want to, now with this one, I know that there's like a bit of like a line kind of coming down. So we can kind of put a few. I know you can't see them all, but that will just make it, I know it kind of will make that one pop a little bit. And then on the other side, it's kind of more of a green. And you can hardly see them on this one. mirror it even though it's not as realistic that way but that's okay all right now maybe this one And I think this one I think will be ready. I just don't want to do it when it's still wet on some other ones. So like this one, we're just going to come down the center. Okay. And we're just going to loop a little bit down. Just going to loop this way. Another one like that. Another one like that. And then we're going to have this. This is kind of, it's like, a, it kind of flips a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, that one's a little wet. I don't know if I want to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do the center line, I think. I'm going to do it on this one. I'm just going to get black and I'm just going to go down the center there. And then go down that way. That. This one's going to put a few in. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we have our leaves going. Again, it keeps popping up. Why is it doing that? Oh, hi, Patty. I use acrylic paint. So I use two kinds. I use crafter's acrylic and I use a flow acrylic. Oh, artist law. Sorry. Flow acrylic, I think, is like kind of like artist law, but it's different. I'm just going to do that, even though that wasn't there, but I think it's all right. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave those just for now. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go play with the background again before we put in any more detail on the stems or anything else that's going on. Okay, so back to like my medium brush. I think I'm gonna use this one right now actually. Okay, I need it to be a little bit lighter than what we got. I'm just going to put some white in my purple just to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, and now let's just go, my brush is pretty dry and that's just going to give more of that like soft look. Again, I don't know if I like that purple so much. That color is a little bit hot for me. I'm going to add a little bit of blue into my purple and see if I like that more. Staying around the same value, that's good. Okay, let's put another one like here. This is a little bit more blue, but that's okay. Maybe I need a smaller brush. Circles are definitely more blue than purple. Let's get some more purple on here. it a little bit so it kind of gets a little fadey. It's looking a little prettier. I think every time my comment comes through it like resets or something. It's very frustrating. Is it, Heather, is it uh, the connection being funky? Is that what's happening? Because again, on my side, it's showing like everything's fine, but I mean, I don't like believe Facebook <laughs> at all. move to a smaller brush.
so frustrating. It like keeps bouncing around. Oh, well, thank you, Mari. This is definitely one of those that, um, as I was going through, I'm like, okay, let's see if this is going to turn out well. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I had my doubts. So I'm still not fully convinced yet, but I am digging these um, blurry circles that I'm doing right now. They're very fun. And I am just kind of playing a bit more with like the interpretation of it instead of like trying to make it look like it which is always what I try to do because I'm not a, a precise painter or precise artist or a person, I should say, at all. I'm more, I like to feel it out. not really the best brush to do it with this brush is like too it's too long and so it's not uh giving me the roughness I want but I do like that it's smaller so I'm gonna continue with it for now I think I'm gonna put another one like here I think so if you have one with like harder bristles I think it'll be a bit easier We want to go a little bit more blue. That's cool. I like that. Where else? Where else should we put some little circly circles? Definitely like more down here. I eh? like this one. We'll just continue it down here a bit more. Okay, that's cute. Okay. Now I think I want to put in, there's like, in some of these it's like a little bit lighter in some spots. I'm just going to put in a little bit of like a white. in the middle the white paint's already tried quite a bit it kind of almost looks like more flowers or something yeah, every time there's a comet that's left it like bounces around it's very weird That would make sense, Heather. I think that could happen. But at the same time, there's been so many updates to Facebook in the last like little bit that I never know what to expect. So I don't know what is due to like the internet connection or what is due to like just like an update that's happened. It's very annoying. <laughs> I want to get a little bit of like these circly things maybe up here a bit and then we'll pop more things on top of this once we have these in place. Just 
to kind of keep some of the consistency or a little bit of white in there okay um do i want to do more of these right now i think i'm gonna leave that for a moment and then i think i want to put in some of the kind of like the berries which are also quite blurry um so <laughs> how are we doing this let's see let's go with this one so i'm just gonna go with my medium brush i think i'm just gonna use red no i think i'm gonna put a little bit of white in it and make it a little pinky because the, my red is a little too dark okay and then i want to let's just put in these this kind of red avoiding behind here seems to be like some kind of red that's kind of coming across here and there's almost a little bit that's coming across at the top here so i think i'm gonna have some i'm just gonna add a little bit more of like almost like dry brushing just to get this kind of color on here too why not let's go crazy Okay, so now I'm going to get my thin brush, or thinner brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go with my white, and then I'm going to put a little... I'm just putting a little bit of red in here as well. Just like so. But yeah, keep this. Hi, Donna. Thanks for the well wishes. I appreciate it. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I think at this point I want to put in everything that connects so it's not just like these weird leaves that are floating in the air. We'll connect them all, even though they're still kind of like weird leaves floating in the air. <laughs> they're, just, they're just kind of connected to each other. But I want to put that in now. So I'm going to get my... Okay, so let's get our green going again. A yellowy green. A lot of them are quite light. Okay. So, where do we go here? So this guy is connected, it kind of goes behind that leaf. So I want this to come like that, more or less. Like that. And I want some yellow, and then I want to just put a little bit of like a yellow light just on one side. Okay. And then... This one... Go 
comes down and attaches to that one. I'm going to do that. Okay. And just like little little leaves kind of come in. Little bits coming out like that. Okay, and then this guy here. Just like that. And then these ones. Come down and this one comes down like that. some of this. But I can't help myself. Okay. And then we need to connect that one in the back. And that one's a little wee bit darker. And this one back here. Kind of just like that. Okay. And then... Just putting a few little lines just to highlight some of these. Some of the lines aren't as clean as I want them to be. It's still funny because it's still like floating. <laughs> kind of weirdly there. That's all right. Okay, I want, I'm going to put a few more little little veiny lines in the sky. I think, I think I'm digging it. I think I'm feeling like I'm almost calling it complete, especially since I don't know what's going on with the stream. It's being very weird. So I apologize for that. I'm glad you love it, Lynn. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed. I'm mixed on it. It's definitely out of my normal... That's not, this is not my normal type of painting, so it's definitely fun and weird and different. But it's always good to do something that's a bit off, right? <laughs> it's nice to try something a little bit new, something that's a little uncomfortable, and that's kind of what this was for me. And even when I picked it, I was like, I'd really like to do just like a sunset sky and some like water <laughs> and a tree. <laughs> that's my comfort zone. But I think this is a, it's always good to do something like that's a little... Uh, different a little scary so this is that one for me absolutely so um I'm okay with it I'm happy that we tried it out I'm not like super in love with it but pretty cool pretty cool attempt I hope you all had a fun time trying this out as well with me um, if you did please take a picture of it and share it as well I'll take a picture and put this in a separate post as well um, but I think I'm gonna call it quits for this evening 
Um, next week, I'll be back with uh, another paint party for all of us to do together. Um, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. And I will see you all again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.